Good morning and welcome to SI Lives AM with Alex. I'm Alex Salmeri. It's Thursday. We have a hot day ahead of us with a chance of some rain later. Here are today's top headlines. Will a vaccine mean an instant end to the coronavirus? Here's a potential timeline. Dr. Mark J. Mulligan, who leads a Pfizer vaccine trial center that's now in the final phase of research, said, we'll have to continue with mask and social distancing long after the vaccine has been proven. The goal of vaccinating is creating herd immunity achieved when a high percentage of the community becomes immune to a disease. However, Mulligan said no one knows what percentage of the population will need the vaccine to reach herd community for the coronavirus. Around the world, scientists are currently working on more than 165 vaccines against the virus, which has infected more than 22.7 million people and killed nearly 800,000 in seven months. Since none of the vaccines have been approved yet, it could be months before the vaccine is distributed to the public. In education news, teachers across the island are gearing up for an unusual school year amid the coronavirus pandemic, in which back to school will see face coverings worn by all, class sizes slashed in half, and more. To help start this remarkable school year, we'd like to showcase how Staten Island teachers are preparing their classrooms. Show us how you're preparing your classroom, whether it's in person or remotely. To be featured, send your photos to acudson at siadvance.com. Lastly, in food news, a Staten Islander launches Richmond Eats to rival Grubhub, DoorDash, and Seamless. Jonathan Joseph, 31, wanted to help his home community at a time when many people needed and still rely on quick food and delivery services. So he moved from Long Island back to the North Shore of the borough and combined his website design skills with his roster of Staten Island restaurant contacts creating Richmond Eats. The new company in which he partnered with Lara Olivia and Richard Waugh is a food delivery service meant to rival others, but Richmond Eats is tailored to specifically Staten Islanders. To get more information about all of these stories, visit silive.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or any of our reporters. Stay safe and stay tuned for more updates.